This is our aquaponics research farm. Shamderson Research Farm. Why feeding a koi in the thousand gallon pond? Yeah. Floating plants. So the water is taken up and sent to the two floodbeds you see at the end. And from there I've got some filtration and then it comes in to this 48 foot long, 4 foot wide, 1 foot deep grow bed. As recently I installed this NFT and you can see that I've transplanted. I'm walking back to the floodbeds. So as I'm walking you can see the vegetation. I'll try and go a bit slow so you don't have two jerks of the produce that's been growing. I've taken stages for the produce to be planted and at some places I'll increase close enough so you get a close-up look. See the Swiss chard, how healthy they are, the greens, different types of salad and yep I know I'm missing some nutrients I gotta start looking and seeing what I need to do so lots of advice would be nice and just give you an idea I've got some plants going to seed the kale starting my tomatoes are doing pretty good put them in their own little separate container and again they're recirculating I just Put them on. I haven't put them on a timer yet. I will be putting, but they're starting to flower, and hopefully, we'll soon have some. I some baby tomatoes are there, but we'll have some good tomatoes naturally grown. Look at that! Look at this! Oh, delicious! So this is the system. That's my deep water culture. These are the floodbeds I was talking about. Okay, now on the other side, I have set up some revolving towers. I just did this on the weekend. You can see crop rotation. It's as simple as turning. That's my crop rotation. And these are my gravel beds along with here. That was vertical gardening there. I set three of them up as an example. These are the gravel beds that I've shown you before. And yes, they are quite impressive in terms of growth. And two months worth of growth, phenomenal. Showed my wife some of the reddishes. She just goes crazy. She says, oh, I love the greens. Look at this one. Look at the reddish coming out. Oh, lovely. Yeah, ready. Yeah, take it out. My wife wants to take some produce out. I says, yeah, help yourself. She wants to take the produce out. Look at this. She's taking this produce out. It's having a little bit of struggle. Oh my god, look. Look at the roots. Oh yes. This is... There you go. That's going to be a nice salad for us. Very nice indeed. Very nice. Some good stuff. Can I put something just... Yeah, we're going to just put it in. We'll, we'll get a compost bin going. So these are the... My towers that I've designed, I call them the Babylon Towers, and they are basically made from Ys. I've got some one and a half inch, and I've got some two inch. Let me turn the camera this way so you see a little better. I've got a whole length, and I've got them basically hanging over the grow beds, although I've put a pipe that takes the return water flow back to the sump. You can see the pipes at the back, my index valve that it's using takes it back to the sump. Here I have two of Nathan's zip grow towers, two of my Babylon towers, these are the two inch ones, and one that I haven't named yet. Uh, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna call this. This, uh, I've done it four sides. And the strawberries I just planted a couple of weeks back and they're starting to take as you can see the old leaves are dying but the new ones are certainly coming again recirculated 
pretty good with 24 grow beds in there. Now this system is basically working off my tilapia pond. So my tilapia pond is here and you might be able to get some tilapia shot. They tend to hide a lot, you know. So this is the tilapia pond. Water from here from one pump gets sent to the index valve and then one at a time it gets sent to the gravel beds and the towers every 15 minutes they return it returns like you could see the return coming in and when it gets to a certain level the sump kicks in sends it via pump into the catfish pond and I'm just doing the catfish pond that gets to a certain level and it gets sent out it drains out and I've got an overflow as well now I just this weekend I'm starting to put some more grow beds in and I'm gonna put some over the tilapia as well as well as the koi pond I'm gonna make some of them as basically gravel but they're gonna be my nursery beds so this is my little aquaponic research farm and signing off until our next video. God bless, enjoy this way of life, we certainly do.